inequality in its reflection on the difficulty of women's access to reproductive and sexual health in Morocco. Uh, Morocco undertook between 1919 uh, and 20, uh, 2015 to achieve the Millennium Development Goal uh, set by the United Nations, which include, among others, the goal of improving maternal health by reducing by three quarters the maternal mortality rate while making access, access to reproductive medicine universal. Uh, six in the end of the Millennium uh, Goals in uh, 2015, Morocco, on the strength of its achievements, has adhered to the new global uh, goals of Sustainable Development Goals, under which it commits to the uh, 2030 uh, maternal mortality rate below 70 per 100,000 live births. To reduce neonatal mortality to uh, 12 for 1,000 live births and to ensure access for all the sexual and reproductive health services, including for family planning, information, and educational purposes. If we take into account the physical and spatial inaccessibility of women to reproductive health care, we must also ask whether they suffer from the shortage of healthcare workers, the weakness of their training and their inequitable uh, in distribution on the ground, the territory, and if the socioeconomic poverty, low standard of living, cultural and educational illiteracy, low cultural level breaks results in their weak use of appropriate care structures. This paper proposed to study the issue of women's access to reproductive health care in Morocco based on exciting literature as well as on field surveys, studies, uh, direct or semi-direct interviews, and the observations made on this subject in, uh, in the town McNeil Center of Morocco and the Robat, the capital of Morocco. Uh, this work highlights the barriers that limit the accessibility of these to appropriate healthcare structures, including those of a special, special uh, economic, social, educational, and cultural nature. Uh, entitled Family Planning in, uh, Nations Empowerment and Development, the report measures of the, to the progress made by Morocco and the extension of the family planning program and draws up its future prospects. The meeting held in Rabat in celebration of World Population Day was an opportunity to discuss the link between family planning and the demographic divide. One pregnant woman in four did not want her pregnancy or wish to delay it. And 73% in, uh, of maternal deeds could have been prevented despite a 30% decline in the maternal mortality rate over the past five, five years. Uh, the need uh, for Morocco to ensure that women and young people have access to quality, sexual and reproductive health services and information, including voluntary family planning, which is essential for the economic empowerment of women and girls, and thus to political emancipation and social transformation. Morocco has made st uh, stunning advances in maternal health over the past 15 years. Uh, State Boel Yusfi added that maternal mortality rates decline to 72.6 deaths per 100,000 live births. That's ever 30% in five years. Okay, it's, uh... The dramatic decline in fertility correlated with the sharp increase in the contraceptive prevalence rate, which reached 67.4% among married women, indicate, indicates that women have a better overall control of fertility 
However, contraception methods are strongly dependent on the pill of the de uh, determinant of long-term methods and to acute lack of knowledge and availability of emergency contraception at a level of public structures is still present. While these figures are in fact promising, another issue still exists. Family planning is still limited to married couples. The UNFPA points out that information, education, communication and services for teenage and young people remain limited despite evidence of early sexual activity in this category. In a report entitled Right to Universal Access to Sexual and Reproductive Health, the UNFPA revealed that average age of first sexual intercourse, intercourse is about 16.5 years for boys and 17.8 years for girls. Young people are at higher risk of negative consequences since they don't have access to adequate sexual and reproductive health, information and services. Point on the UNFPA, according to the latter, uh, Moroccan teenager and young people engage on several risky behaviors. In Morocco, 7.9% of girls aged 15 to 24 years who had sex had an uh, unwanted pregnancy while 60% uh, of young boys frequent sex works and nearly a quarter of them never use condoms. The lack of appropriate sexual education and reproductive health services among young people, people is uh, all the more catastrophic once combined with gender inequalities. Inequalities in gender-based violence based in prevent sexual and reproductive health rights claims for women and girls, uh, stress UNFPA. Uh, set at 32% uh, to teenage, teenage fertility rate, 15 and uh, 19 is uh, high in Morocco, mainly due to early marriage, but also the sexual violence and and sufficient access, uh, access, uh, access to information and uh, sexual reproductive health services. Uh, the UNFPA uh, also points out that knowledge of the risk and negative consequences uh, on reproductive health remains limited. And while the prevalence of sexual uh, violence is still high in Morocco, knowledge and access to emergi emergency contraception remains low in the public sector. In a climate where sexual education is not institutionalized, where there is a serious lack of health structure distinct to young people and where youth is faced with cultural and administrative obstacle in accessing sexual and reproductive health services is not surprised that you FPA questions why these inequalities in gender-based violence resist despite the demand for sexual and reproductive health rights for women and girls. The field of uh, sexual and reproductive health and the rights before illustrating the normative framework of abortion. Uh, in 2018, expenses of for integrated uh, sexual and reproductive health services in Morocco included the target at increased availability and use of integrated sexual and reproductive health services, including family planning, maternal health, and HIV uh, that are gender responsive and meet human rights standards for quality of care and equity in access. This initiative involved uh, uh, six, uh, 668,000 point two thirty thirteen nine dollars in expenditures of which 
82% uh, come from the United Nations Population Fund, and 10% from uh, uh, non-governmental organization, and 7% from the Moroccan government. These figures do not include the cost of uh, private health services, uh, which contribute to uh, stratifying health care asymmetries between rural and urban areas and between private and public services. Uh, Morocco made only limited uh, progress in achievement uh, millennium development, which focused on improving maternal health, uh, which aimed to achieve uh, by uh, 2015 universal access to reproductive health and safe abortion was either not included or only briefly mentioned by a Morocco institution in the report of uh, the achievement uh, by uh, World Health Organization report focusing generally on target uh, without a country specific focus. It's also not addressed into 2012 to 2016 uh, UFPA country program, despite that programs and phases on sexual and reproductive health as a core component. In Morocco, abortion is mostly practiced illegally. Therefore, official uh, public health uh, data is not available. available. Fuji, I'm sorry uh, to, Fuji, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but there is uh, five minutes left uh, for your presentations, and then we will go with questions, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. I will. Okay. In particular, I have analyzed how, how unmarried mothers have been identified either as a specific target for an intervention uh, or as part of a border target by uh, uh, Casablanca-based uh, non-governmental organization, which has led to the emergence of unmarried women, mothers, uh, as a social category in public space in the context in which they uh, and their children receive care, notably uh, over the last three decades. Some uh, non-governmental organizations have transformed the significance of certain social groups, meaning that some women who are experienced both maternal and social distress, including children born of wedlock, have become vulnerable category and new target for humanitarian action if uh, a woman can prove she is vulnerable as defined by non government and she can access uh, okay. uh, services, including uh, sexual and reproductive health services, either the non government organization itself or through public and private service uh, provider that col uh, collaborate with them as volunteer or benefactor. Uh, although the process of assessing eligibility for services is purportedly means the combat gender and sexual stigma, in reality, this process may be embedded in a compassionate framework that does not actually redress injustice. More importantly, the fact that women who can prove their eligibility are able to access to sexual and reproductive health services through non governmental organizations does not resolve the large issue of the lack of free good quality uh, sexual reproductive health services for all women regardless of their statue the same at odds with the positioning positioning of their services with a social justice uh, framework Women in Morocco face difficulties when it comes to expressing uh, their sexuality in choosing family planning methods. Sex is only socially approved for married women. So unmarried women have a hard time accessing contraception. Married women also have trouble with contraception, both due to misinformation uh, and the culture norm that a wife is responsible for all birth control. 
Finally, legal aversion is an option is almost completely in a, inaccessible to both married and married women. Uh, this sociocultural atmosphere may result in unsafe practice, the shame or unfulfillment on the part of Moroccan women. On top of the difficulties facing women uh, who want access to contraception, abortion is illegal in most cases, causing women to turn to unsafe method. Therefore, Morocco women's sexuality is heavily regulated by the limi limitation of reproductive choice in the continuing fight for women rights in Morocco so right to sexuality must be considered. Thank you. Thank you very much, Fuzia, for your presentation. Uh, and now it's time for uh, questions, comments. Yes, please. Maybe I will start. Uh, I was wondering uh, if you have uh, un data from other Arabic countries to compare. Have you have you have this possibility to look on it? How how Moroccan woman situation look comparison to women for other Arabic countries? Uh, no, I, I I didn't have this opportunity, but. Um... Okay, uh, but I, I I have some studies about uh, mm -hmm. compare compare Morocco by uh, uh, Yemen, Egypt, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Jordan. They they have the same the same situation. In, uh, I okay. think in the yeah. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, any more questions, comments? Uh, I would just like to uh, make uh, like. Uh, like a cross-reference with the presentations we had yesterday, and it shows it's not only a problem of uh, uh, Arabic countries, but uh, it shows, I think, that the fact that w when you have these uh, um, public policies, uh, at categories which have to prove that they are vulnerable, then uh, additional problems uh, occur, like this, uh, this social group of uh, unmarried women who have to prove their uh, vul vulnerability. So it, it shows, uh, like, uh, almost automatic uh, unintended consequence of the public uh, policy. I mean, mm -hmm. it was in the presentation of Spartaco uh, that uh, uh, the children who were supposed to receive aid, they were considered to be adults. So also this, uh, this problems of uh, the categorization of public policy uh, has effects of stigmatization and uh, it shows that inequality must be, it's also an issue of how you present it and how you categorize it. I mean, it's just, uh, it's, I think it's more uh, a, general, a general problem. Mm 